talk to you about steel convoy. What's steel convoy, you say? You never heard about it? Oh well, imagine this scenario. You're dropping into a game and a few minutes into it you notice something's weird. Hold up. Let's take a closer look. So when the game first starts, it tells you what kind of game it will be. In the top right corner of the screen it will say either Team Deathmatch or Steel Convoy. Steel Convoy is an escort mission. In one of three places on the map the Steel Convoy is located. It's up to your team to find it first and escort it to one of two extraction points. If it sounds a bit confusing, don't worry, I'll show you all the details. First, if you didn't pay attention at the start of the game, notice the lack of these symbols. If they're not present, you're playing Steel Convoy. Now we'll take a look at locating the convoy and how you capture it. In this clip, I located the convoy. Notice that ring. You'll have to stay inside it and press the button that says tap to capture. I, I press the button and the capture is in process. Notice that the convoy is on my right and looks like a Martian turpid. If I can fill that blue bar, I'll have captured the Titan. The convoy, sorry. This is often quite difficult, as you see. The other team will of course also try to locate the convoy. It will be located in one of these spots marked in red. I apologize for using the old and outdated maps. I haven't been able to find current and updated ones. If the enemy is in the process of capturing the convoy, you can interrupt them by getting inside the circle. If they've already managed to capture the steel convoy, you can break their capture if you're in a light and manage to shock them with your folder. Notice how I position myself behind cover, just inside the circle. This way I'm hindering the reds from capturing the convoy. This is a neat trick that comes in handy when you're playing steel convoy, so try to remember it. Because this way, the reds have no other option than to locate you, and while they are busy trying to find you and kill you, your teammates hopefully comes to the rescue. Now we'll take a look at how you actually control the convoy once you capture it. Notice that blue bar at the top I was talking about earlier. When it's filled, you'll notice that the white ring you need to be inside to capture the convoy has become much larger. It's that green line you can see to the left. It functions sort of like a joystick, where you imagine yourself as the stick and the convoy will always be in the center, trying to walk towards you. It's not very clever, so sometimes terrain will be challenging for it, so you need to pay attention. Also, if you cross that line and get outside of that green ring, you will have a few seconds to get inside again, or you'll lose control of the convoy, and you'll need to recapture it. Once you've actually captured the convoy, your goal is to get it to one of two extraction points. You can see that um, square marked as B and that square marked as A. These are my two choices for extraction points. You can use the convoy itself as cover and this comes in handy more often than you think. Because the second win condition for the game mode Steel Convoy is killing everyone on the opposing team. Since Steel Convoy is an objective based game mode, it forces the teams to attack each other. Since I have control of the convoy, the Reds are forced to attack me, because if they ignore me, I'll simply walk convoy to the extraction point and my team will win. 
At this point, most of my team, they're dead. So I don't really have any backup here. And, well, I don't have too much of a hope to actually walk the convoy to the extraction point and wait for it to extract and then win. Let's watch another clip instead to see how a successful extraction looks. Here my team has control of the convoy, we're walking it to the extraction point and most of the reds are dead. It's been a pretty even battle as you can see from the score, but we have managed to get the convoy to our extraction point marked by the letter A and also a small circle of green lights. Most of the reds are re has spawned back on the other side of the map and they're unable to mount a coordinated assault. We can also see the dropship on its way in to extract the convoy. And as the blue bar fills, the, our side is victorious. Managing to extract the convoy successfully adds 2000 points to everyone on your team. This is worth to keep in mind because sometimes you're better off extracting the convoy and other times maybe you're better off actually killing the reds, point wise I mean. I hope this video helped you understand the game mode Steel Convoy. I'm the Salty Hyena, thank you for watching, see you next time.